Hello there. I don't do this very often. Where's the focus? I'll tell you, I'm really upset right now. And it's a rather serious subject. There's a group or an organization called World Visions. And what they do is amazing. They help connect people with sponsored children so that they can live with the food and the water that they need. Stuff that we take for granted. First world problem country. This company is based on Christian views, supposedly. I honestly don't know too much about them but I've come to learn more about them in the last couple of days. World Visions took a giant leap. It shows tolerance and acceptance and love. This company, built on Christian Foundation, decided that it's time to allow people that have same-sex marriages to be employed by them, which is great. Gay people can work too, right? <laughs> 10,000 plus people have stopped sponsoring a child because the people they're giving money to have gay employees. Gay married employees. Not just gay employees. I mean, they're okay. I'm blown away by this number. <sighs> I can't. <laughs> I'm, s I'm sad that there's 10,000 children that are no longer being sponsored. I'm sad about that. But I'm more sad that I'm sharing a country with 10,000 people that think it's okay to suddenly just drop their children. This organization, when you sponsor a child, you don't just give money. I mean, you can, I guess, but you don't just give money. You create a relationship with this child. You're always helping the same one or ones. You're helping a person. What happens when the Christian has a child and that child comes out to them? Are they gonna suddenly throw them to the curb and stop feeding them? Suddenly, the organization that connected you to that person is doing something differently that goes against your whatever? I mean, it's not like you're spending money to help gay marriage because you're not doing that. And here I am sitting in front of a camera, not knowing what to do because I want to do something, but I don't know what to do because I mean, I can sponsor a child, but that doesn't help the 10,000 people that don't get it, that love is the answer and that stopping supporting a child, giving them the things they need to survive. It's gonna prove some kind of point. Uh, it, it proves a point, that's for sure. It proves that Christians are blind as Apparently there's an update. World Visions just sent out an apology for making the wrong decision and is asking for their humble forgiveness. They should have stuck to their guns. Just the fact that this is all happening, totally giving them marketing hardcore. I felt compelled to actually do something about it, spread the word, maybe give them my money and time. Whoop, just kidding! They should be looking at this as an investment. Financial loss initially, much like most investments, but if they held on to it, people would have risen up that actually understand the reality of the situation. I understand that someone might not be okay with the whole gay thing, because I get that it's weird or it's against the rules or whatever you want to call it. Telling us that it's not okay for gay people to help other people in need. That's what you're telling us. Like, it's okay for you to give money and to help out people in need, but when it comes to the gay thing, they're not allowed to help. So they can't be a part of our organization because they're an exception to life and humanity. But aren't we all trying to, to work together on this? Why would you stop same-sex married couples or people or whatever from helping you do the same freaking thing? So in conclusion, those of you that are of that 10,000 plus people, you don't get the big picture and we don't get you. So do better. Listen to your heart when he's calling for you. Listen to your heart. There's nothing 